Orville? It's Eve Russell. Orville, can you hear me? Wake up. I can't stop thinking about how you said there was some information about my past somewhere out there. I even went to your apartment last night to try and find it. This Chad caught me looking around and I had to think fast to come up with a plausible story about why I was there. As far as I'm concerned, he's nothing but trouble. But why do you keep warning me to keep him away from Whitney and Simone? Okay, fine, Orville. If you're not gonna wake up and give me some answers, then I'll just have to get them on my own. Thanks for coming so quickly. I know you must be terribly busy in social services. <laughs> so what else is new? <laughs> what can I do for you, Eve? Well, it's about my patient here, Orville. Oh, victim of a hit and run. How's he doing? Well, physically, very well. But his mind is another story. You know, he lapses in and out of consciousness, and even when he's awake, he's only coherent about half the time. Well, what can I do? Well, since he's not going to be leaving the hospital for a while, I thought maybe we could do something about securing his apartment and belongings. You really think that's necessary? Well, I know it's a little bit out of the ordinary, but I've become very fond of him. And his neighborhood is not very nice. And, well, I'm afraid that if word gets out that his apartment is vacant, then, well, it might be vandalized. It's true. Older people can be targets, especially when they live alone. Even when all they have are a few mementos from the past. And you, you can do something about protecting his place right away? I'll do my best and let you know. You know, it's no wonder everybody in this hospital likes you. There aren't very many doctors as conscientious and caring as you. Thanks, Carol. Bravo, Eve. She has no idea why you really want people out of my apartment. I don't know what you're talking about, Orville. <laughs> Save that for Judge Judy. I do know that you told that lady a while ago that you didn't want anybody in my apartment. That's because you don't want Chad Harris there snooping around trying to find out about his past. Not just Chad. Oh, yeah, that's right. You don't want anybody there either, do you? Somebody might dig up something about your past, too. Is that where you have the information on me, Orville, in your apartment? Easy, Eve. Your desperation is showing. It's not very doctor-like. Just tell me where I can find the material that you've kept on me all these years, Orville. It's in your apartment, isn't it? That's right. But um, as far as uh, the exact uh, place that I hid it, I don't know. What do you mean? You have to remember where you stashed it. That's been a long time ago. I seem to remember uh, uh, getting together everything and putting it in a red envelope uh i was going to give it to you and then uh well i guess i just forgot it i do that more and more these days please orville think because my entire life depends on you remembering where you put this envelope i just don't know it's uh it's got to be someplace oh that's just great orville well, don't get mad at me, Doc. Uh, I'm telling you the best I can. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to snap. A a at least, at least your apartment is all closed up and, and no one will go into it until you're released from here. Then you and I can go in there and search it from top to bottom. Well, if you find all the information, what are you going to do with it? When I find it, I am going to destroy it so that nobody can ever find out the truth. Well, that's your life. 
If you don't mind, I'm, uh, I'm getting kind of tired. Okay, wait, just, just one more thing, Orville, okay? Now, why are you so insistent that Simone and Whitney stay away from Chad? Well, with what I've seen, you don't seem to be too crazy about him hanging around with him uh, anyway. But you obviously know something that I don't know. What is it? I mean, what's going to happen if Whitney or Simone get involved with Chad? saying you got to be sure to keep your girls far away from Chad Harris. Oh, I'm afraid that's easier said than done, Orville. The more that I forbid them to have anything to do with him, the more attractive he seems. Forbidden fruit. Exactly. At least to Simone. Whitney, I don't worry about. She's got a good head on her shoulders. So just tell me what you mean. I'm very tired now. Don't do this to me. Very tired. Whatever you do, just keep them apart. <laughs> 